Hi, this is Engineer Hedaitullah from School of Civil Engineering. Now I'll go for our beam detailing. Okay, so to do our beam detailing, I'll just click here again. Here, application components. After that, I'll write here beam. Okay, and I'll go down a little bit. So here, uh, here reinforcement beam, automatic reinforcement layout. I'll select that option or you can also type 54 like that. 54, clear. I'll select that one. And after that, it's telling us pick object. So where I want to place our reinforcement, I want to place our reinforcement here. And also, I want to place our reinforcement here. Okay. Then, I'll close it. Now, you can see here, we have provided our reinforcement also here. Clear? Here, you can see our reinforcement is available. Now, if you need to change that reinforcement again, now, what I'll we'll do actually, I'll simply select and then double click. Sorry. Sorry, I have to interrupt first, right click, interrupt, and after interrupting, then I'll click here, double click on our the beam arrangement, and you can see here, this is the uh, this is our template actually so a standard pattern so you can see here our beam okay so this is for our beam beam pattern and the row one two three four here if you just go just see here huge amount of reinforcement actually so what i'll do actually i'll only consider reinforcement for here i'll provide zero and also zero and i'll click modify okay so here only in two layer I mean in layer 1 and layer 2 I'll provide reinforcement clear so after that I'll just go here a standard profile also you can change that then longitudinal river so what of the longitudinal river of your bar so here you can see the number of bar here used 666 six, six, okay for our 4 bar okay for our 4 bar it's have provided this is the bar number of six then here you can also see the side arrangement then history of okay so what will be the history of arrangement of your beam from here also you can change history of uh, from here as per your requirement okay so and for composite for inch river you can also use that option for inch river actually And also, if you provide, I'll, then I'll click modify. And if I provide reinforcement for one, okay, so for one, sorry, for one only, then I'll click modify and just see. Also, it's have changed. Also, it's have changed for our river data. So this is the way to provide reinforcement sorry this is the way to provide our reinforcement in our beam also okay and uh, for that arrangement here for that arrangement also you can change it actually so finally we have to work here actually okay finally we have to work here and if you need to modify that value if you need to modify that value and also you can modify it from here just see in our bottom how much bar one two three four and here five okay so here total five bar have been provided uh, so if you need to change that you can change that there's the special profile a standard pattern from that standard pattern also you can change that and here is our template okay
and for for our east rib, there have four i mean uh, five part of our beam so for our that side if you need a spacing here they provided a spacing okay for three inch spacing and here six inch spacing at middle they have provided one inch spacing one feet spacing so i'll provide zero i'll provide eight feet here eight feet spacing and grade 60 it's okay also and everything reverse size i'll provide reverse size for 60 grid i'll provide reverses three and also for here i'll provide reverse size 60 three for each drop or tie and also for here i'll provide three okay then i'll click modify you see it's have been changed it's have been changed or river arrangement that have been changed okay now again if i just go here longitudinal river okay and from here also i can change it five bar main here uh, again for that one we can go for five bar for main okay and also if you don't want to use that uncheck it and click and modify and here the section x and y okay for section x and for section uh, y and for proper understanding you can come here y location and for x location okay for x location and this is for y location you can also also change that value here so if you if you want to uncheck it also you can do that okay and also you can change that value from here i hope it's clear to you that how we'll change or how we'll modify reinforcement for our that beam so thank you thank you for very much staying with me this is engineer hedayatullah and if you want to support us then join as a member in our channel so thank you thank you very much